Hi guys, today is a Thursday, May the 24th, so I hope y'all's day is starting out alright. Um, I'd like to go ahead and bring this back up. If you, if you noticed recently all the, this June 4th stuff, like multiple confirmations, about 6 slash 4 June 4th, um, very strange. And um, one thing I didn't mention... June 4th, when I was thinking about it, it hit me that, you know, June 4th, I'm like, wow, that is one month before July 4th. So June 4th, that's one month before July 4th. And that's something I hadn't told y'all. It was, it kept coming to my mind, you know, July 4th, June 4th is one month before that. And, and it's like, that was bringing me back to the, 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 the dream I had. So the video is March Rapture. I sure hope so. I posted that on, I believe it was February 25th. So I want to go over the dream, and in that dream, basically the the national anthem we were that was being sung at the end of the the church service. So it's March Rapture. I sure hope so. I'll go ahead and go over the dream now because I believe it's important, and clearly I believe there's there's some sort of time frame associated with it. And um, so let me go over the details now. Um. So here, okay. So the dream. I'm gonna go over it quickly. So basically, we um, I found myself, I was, I was in a church service. It was a relatively small church. So here's a picture of basically the layout. There were pews on the left and the right, and there was a single center aisle. So it was a, it was a, um, it was a um, pretty small church. And then there was a, a pastor, preacher, what have you at the front. And so I was sitting down specifically like, I was in the um, more, one of the middle pews on the right side. You can see it here labeled one, two, three. There were specifically two people to the left of me. I think it was a girl to the left of me and then a guy to the left of her. I, I can't remember. I think that's who it was, but I know for a fact there were two people to the left of me. So I was sitting at the number three position. So the number three circle, and there were two people to the left of me. And then there was some space to the right of me and more people. I don't know how many, that wasn't the focus. The focus in the dream like the Lord was making the focus, the, the, the two people to the left of me. So the group of the three of us, um, towards the, you know, the center aisle. And, um, so, so we're all here and there's other people throughout. I didn't put the other circles for other people, but there were other people, there were a fair amount of people in the church. So there were other people in the pews. It wasn't just like our pew. There were people throughout the church, but I just threw, you know, I just, um, put, you know, put those on there and number the circle. So, you can know, I was sitting at the number three spot. So basically we were, we were watching this, this preacher or, you know, pastor preacher, whoever it was, it was, I, I believe it was either lukewarm, false doctrine, something, something was off. Something was wrong. I did not like what was being preached. Um, so something was off and I knew I'm like, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here as fast as possible. And so at a certain point in the service, me, I stood up, I stood up and, um, some people, some other people throughout the church stood up. We wanted to leave. We wanted to get out of there as fast as possible. Not everyone stood up, only some people. And so we started leaving. I, I you know, I entered the, the center aisle to walk out of this church along with other people. But then it's like, I knew I had to turn around. I knew I had to go back. I, I, I wasn't time to leave yet. So this is why I'm saying there's a time frame associated with this dream. It wasn't time to leave yet. So what I did was I went back to the, the row I had been seated at, but this time I attempted, so I attempted to take a seat at the, essentially take the, the guy that was sitting at the number one spot next to the center aisle, I attempted to sit to the left of him. So I wanted to essentially become number one and then the other two people to shift to the right to become two and three. So I, I, you know, I, I sat, I sat down to the left of number one, which would have caused one and two to shift to the right to, to become two and three. But the thing is, I noticed I was very crammed. It was uncomfortable. There was no space. And so what I did was I stood back up and I, and I went back to my original number three spot. So I went back to the original number three spot I had been sitting at. And um, that's important. So I believe there's some sort of time frame associated with that the number three spot. Like I, I had to sit there. I, I couldn't take the guy's number one spot. I had to go back to my original number three spot. And so I sat down, continued, you know, everyone we returned, those who had stood up knew it wasn't time yet. We sat back down. We continued listening to the lukewarm, what, what have you preacher, 
Um, something was off with what he was preaching. And, and finally, at a certain point, the national anthem, they closed the, the service with the national anthem. And I, and, um, I think I, hu- I hummed through most of it. And I think I remember singing like the last line or verse of the, the U.S. national anthem. So they closed the service with the U.S. national anthem. And I knew then when we had finished the, na- you know, the U.S. national anthem, it was time to go home. So I knew at that point it was essentially time to go home, you know, or it was time to leave the church as in time to go home, like as in rapture time. I mean, I've, I've honestly felt the dream, but like, that's what I was. So I, so that was the dream. It ended there. Like, I think maybe we stood up ready to leave or whatever, but I know when it ended, like it, we could leave the church service, you know, as in time to go home rapture time. And so I always knew that there was a time frame associated with this dream. I'm not, you know, because the whole number three spot was emphasized. I had to sit there. Like I, so the, the one, two, three, and the two people to the left of me, that's who I was paying attention to and where I was seated. So I was seated at the number three spot. And so when I went back, I, I, I couldn't sit at number one. I had to sit at number three as in the order is important. There's some sort of time frame associated with this. So I always took it that um, you know, eventually I realized the singing of the U.S. National Anthem inside of a church, I took that as we associate the U.S. National Anthem with America's Independence Day. The fact we were singing that inside of the church, I took that as um, a reference to Israel's Independence Day, which we know that was on May 14th. You know, seven years, that's their, their Independence Day, May 14th. So I took it as um, the Lord was, you know, point into once we got through that then we could like get up and leave like we would be done soon after like after Israel's Independence Day and uh, but now I may be seeing some sort of uh, a, a a time period point into afterwards so let me show y'all um because the, the fact we were singing the U.S. National Anthem I, I still it's got me interested that there's some relationship to the U.S. you know Independence Day in some way. And now catch this guys. When when I was checking this out. So we know Israel's Independence Day was May 14th. And this is very interesting. I don't know if this means anything. But I found it pretty interesting. And remember I was seated in the number 3 spot. And when I went back to my seat. I, I couldn't sit in the number 1. I had to go to number 3. So the number 3 spot was emphasized. And I always took that as some sort of time delay. Time period to when we could leave. So I don't know, but check this out. If you add three weeks to May 14th, which was Israel's Independence Day, exactly three weeks, 21 days, the result is Monday, June the 4th. So Monday, June the 4th, if you add three weeks to May 14th. And in the dream, I was was seated in the number three spot, and that was what was emphasized. I had to go back to the number three spot. And at the end of the church service, the, the U.S. National Anthem, was played and then we knew we could leave and now this is very interesting because june the 4th I, I you know it had caught my attention earlier and i didn't tell you all about you know for that kept you know i was thinking about july the 4th i'm like that is weird that's exactly a month before july the 4th and then i thought back to the dream and then the whole number three spot and it, it's very interesting that three weeks after israel 70 years is june the 4th so i'm wondering if the in the church standing up represented um basically you know israel's independence day may 14th everyone was like it's time to go it's ready to go and that's what a lot of us were feeling like when we would hit that it's like time to go it's like imminent we we need to go now like it's time to go but i'm wondering if that number three spot i had to go back and you know go back to my number three spot i wonder if that could represent three weeks after may 14th which brings us to june the 4th and then in the dream that you know the church they closed the church service with the u.s national anthem in june the 4th that's exactly one month before Jul- you know july the 4th america's independence day and so i don't know guys i had to let y'all know about this it may mean absolutely nothing but the whole june the 4th and the, the lord you know the lord keeps confirming and showing me stuff about that i um i thought about july the 4th in the U- u.s you know independence day and then the whole it it made me think back to this dream about the 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 national anthem in the church you know ending the church service with that so i mean this may mean absolutely nothing but i have you know i need to at least get this out here because it could be something important 
I, I mean, I think there is a good chance we very well could see something happen on that day. Do I know what may happen? No, I, I have no clue. I'm not saying, you know, I have no clue what could happen, but I think something very well could happen on that day, June 4th. So just keep watch. I wanted to let y'all know about that, that dream um, in a possible, I, I, I believe there, and another thing, I had that dream February 25th. <clears throat> the interesting thing is also three, if you go three months forward from February 25th, that's March 25th, um, April 25th, May 25th. So, I mean, that puts us in the time frame even now. If you go months forward from when I had the dream, three months forward, it puts us to May 25th, which is the time frame we're in now. So it's it's interesting also, but even if you go three months forward from when I had the dream. But so three weeks from May 14th, that's June the 4th. So I don't know, guys. Just want to let y'all know about that. You know, I pray y'all have a, a, a good day. And just keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. And... um. Keep walking a narrow path. It, it truly, it, it truly is a narrow path. It truly is a narrow path, and um, you know the path to hell. It's wide, and so many are on that path, and it's sad. But I'm um, just keep walking on the narrow path and realize the Lord's return is imminent. Um, wow! Notification: Trump cancels summit with North Korean leader. Wow, but um. That notification just popped up on my phone. Wow. Peace and safety. It's already unraveling right before our eyes. False sense of peace and safety. Um, we know sudden destruction is at hand. You know, is at hand. We, we have no illusions about it, guys. So just keep your, your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. And, you know, stay in constant prayer. And um, walk in the spirit. Don't walk in the flesh. And realize this is a spiritual battle. The evil, the wickedness. It's it's through the roof. It's it's getting through the roof, and um, it's evil. And it, it's basically we see the darkness closing in. It's 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 falling down over the whole earth. And at this point, it's time to go home. So I thank y'all for listening. If y'all have any input, please let me know. And in that dream, like yeah, I, I believe there's a time frame associated with with it. So I don't know if it ties in with this like three weeks after may 14th but the number three was emphasized like i had to sit there and i always felt there was a there's a time frame associated with that is that the end then the the u.s national anthem